Good morning. You are welcome to Health Guide. We have been discussing premenstrual syndrome, but we're now in the last part or the last stages of discussion on how you can manage it, how you can fix it, if not totally fix, how you can reduce the symptom that makes you enjoy life. You don't get to work and you're running your tummy everywhere and you're feeling very, very discomfort. So we're taking the second part of how to fix your premenstrual syndrome. So today again, take it from here, number one, you will need to engage in food that contains a lot of calcium. So calcium, and I mean natural sources now. So calcium natural sources are one, seafoods. So when you buy fish that are from sea, eat such fish and eat the bone as well. Chew the bone and swallow. You get a lot of natural calcium from there. Number two, other food from the sea like shrimps, like crabs, and coal, crayfish, they are all those that are from sea. Engage in them very well. You will be loaded with natural calcium. That cannot be an overdose. And you will realize that your menstrual syndrome will begin to improve drastically. Number three, leafy vegetables. Vegetables that are very leafy that are also very rich in calcium. It's a natural source of getting calcium. And number four, if you take any animal, like is it a bird, is it a four-legged animal, eat the bone, you get a lot of calcium from there. All of these are natural that provides you with a lot of calcium. You are also allowed to proceed for that in taking some vitamins and minerals that are artificially made, that are, that are drug or, or tablet made. So example of such tablets you can go for that you take regularly, which must be guided by your doctor, as follows. I'm going to mention those names so that you can actually understand how to use them. Number one, magnesium. Magnesium is a kind of element that is very, very powerful in the body. It helps the enzymes to work very well. So it reduces some symptoms in human being naturally. So you can get to do that. Number two, you can take vitamin B6. You know, you take vitamin B complex. Then there's a particular one called B6. It's called pyridoxin sulfate. This particular one is very good. It also helps to ameliorate or reduce the tension that is built up in your body. Those two, you can take them at will. Now, I mentioned another two that you need to be careful. Vitamin D. You can take vitamin D3. It's also very useful in maintaining or protecting you from going through a lot of excruciating uh, premenstrual syndrome. But note that vitamin D and the last one, vitamin E, these two cannot be taken by you without a doctor's prescription or a doctor's guide because when you take them too much, it will also cause another problem for you. So because you do not want to lapse into another trouble, please meet your doctor to tell you the dosage of how you should take it and for how long you should take it. This cannot be taken forever. So that is very, very important as a matter of means of tablet or maybe I've discussed the natural and the, the, the artificial form of you getting yourself to relieve or reduce the premenstrual syndrome you may go through. Until we come your way again, we we'll still continue to see other means of fixing or reducing premenstrual syndrome. Follow us on this 0802-33186 or you link or clinch to 89.7 FM on a regular basis. Thank you for listening.